Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jane and this is Tales by Jane. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you're a repeat subscriber, thanks for sticking with me. On this channel, we talk about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you're a young lady, a regular woman who is looking to improve a style or elevate a style or just wants to look chic, this is a channel for you. If you have lots of stuff in your wardrobe and you don't know how to style these pieces or you're looking to create a new wardrobe for yourself and you, you don't know where to start, this is the right place for you. On here, we talk about restyling your wardrobe and getting value out of the pieces of your from your wardrobe and also incorporating new trends into your wardrobe, but you don't have to spend really close amount of money on fashion. On here, I teach people how to get more value out of their wardrobe, so restyle your pieces in your wardrobe and give you style ideas. So if this is content you're interested in, please subscribe. I bring out two videos every week, Tuesdays and Saturdays. So on and these videos are just general styling, lifestyle and beauty videos. Now that we've gotten uh, the gist of why you should stick with me, let's get into today's video. So today's video is another Zara haul. I know it's sad and shameful, <laughs> but yeah, another Zara haul. And we're doing a fall one this time, so I grabbed a couple of fall pieces from Zara. Not really very fall, well maybe half and half, but um, I'm transitioning into fall and kind of outfits I would wear. I tend not to go into the heavy knits um, immediately into early fall i still wear some kind of summer transitional pieces yeah but anyway so we'll be reviewing those today and then you you would see get some ideas on how to style these pieces for your wardrobe um yeah if you're interested in that stay tuned Let's get okay so the first box what's in here uh, this is kind of like a first impressions video because i haven't seen this item um oh okay i know this uh this is a shirt dress but it has this vent opening at the back and this is interesting it's actually very thick material it's it's a fall color and it's material you can wear for fall uh if you're worried about the vent at the back you can actually layer and so that doesn't show but it's thick and cinches at the waist you're gonna see it in the tryout um assessing me i got two sizes because i'm not sure with zara sizes lately i've been in between sizes so yeah so i got a large and an extra large and i'm gonna try that to see how it fits and you're gonna see it on the styling piece of this video so um i like how this fits i love the color I don't know what's with Zara and just random threads these days so, though. Anyway, I love the color. I love how it fits. Mm -hmm. I don't know about it. I don't know if I'm feeling it. That's the back. So the vent doesn't really show, which is good. And it has this detail on here which cinches you in. So it's a nice fall piece. And yeah. Now there's on an oversized blazer, so you can get kind of the look. If you don't want to wear a trench coat, this is another way to style this. If you have an oversized blazer in your wardrobe, I paired these two together. And if you want, you could also try a uh, throw on a belt with it. Hold on, I'm going to grab one. Okay, so this is it with a belt. I'm not even sure which I prefer, with a belt or without a belt. But you see how I transformed that into a completely different look. So this is also another way you could style a shirt dress with a blazer in the fall. It looks very warm and chic. So, yeah. And uh, what next? So I got uh, this leggings. So this leggings is, these are very long leggings, but they have this vent on the side. Ugh, here and just this vent and this leggings kind of makes it look like two outfits i'm going to show you how i style them uh i'm going to style it but i really love this leggings and i i love it with blazers i have seen it with blazers so that's kind of the look the vision i had in mind for this and you're going to see it so again if you have any leggings this will do if when you look at the styling you can break that with pieces you already have in your wardrobe Okay, so this is the leggings on and I want you to see how I go from one look 
to another. So this is it, which is uh, sneakers on. I just, I have a body underneath. Just simple all black look because I couldn't be bothered about life. And just trade out my bomber. Okay, so this is look one. Okay. Well, these are really warm though. And high waisted, so good. Okay, so look two. Ultimately transform the fit. This is look like, huh. I love that detail on there. Well, I just threw it all in my yellow blazer and same body, I just changed the jacket and the shoes. So yeah, and that is it. This is a satin skirt with slit. I've been looking for a very good satin skirt piece for a long time. And I I don't know, satin skirts just don't work with my body. I, I haven't found one that fit. So I'm still on the hunt for it. Maybe this one is it. If not, it's going back. Okay, so okay, so this is the satin skirt with uh, this is a satin skirt with a slit uh, i love the slit i don't know about the fit yet but i just quickly paired it on with a blazer to show you guys i'm going to style it up a couple of different ways so this is way number one this gives me church vibe but you still want to be sassy Look number two. Now I just threw it on with a body and my leather jacket. And so here you could actually throw on some long boots if you have some black long boots with this. I'm just wearing this with um, heels right now because I have one of the leg details to show. It's still warm enough for me to show legs. But yeah, so this is it with a blazer. I just wearing I'm just wearing a body underneath it. So this is a skirt. Look number two. I have one more two. I don't know. I have one more look coming. So this is look number two. Tell me what you think. Okay, so I just drew on a classic white shirt. Ignore the wrinkles. I know this is just to get give you an idea for styling. So yeah, so I just tried on a classic white shirt for this, and this is the look. Uh, this is an old white shirt I got from Zara, and yeah, it's a long shirt. I just pulled it up to tie. So yeah, I'm still dealing with this. This box is, this one was on sale, I think I got it twin though. This is a shirt dress, again, um, white and it has this detail at the back that kind of cinches you in as well so this is also very thick it's it mimics oh it has this kind of uh how do i like a pleat detail on here really great uh it mimics like a denim it's a i'm gonna call it a denim even though it's not as thick it's stretchy but it's like a denim shirt that cinches that kind of sits well at the waist and you're gonna see how i style this one this is what this one looks like uh it's really tight here uh it's not um it's nice i love how it looks i love the detail on the back kind of makes my bum hot uh it's it's tight here though i don't have flat tummy so i don't like concentration on here but this is it it's a simple white shirt dress i'm going to style it a couple of different ways for you to see but i like it i don't know if i like it enough to get a bigger size but it's really it's really chic um, okay this is seriously giving me coming to america vibes but this is it with my teddy coat on
this one with another blazer so you see uh looks with blazer i really love short dresses with blazer it's just gives a kind of chic vibe so this is it with another blazer i'm gonna throw on the vest as well so you see how it looks okay and i could also wear this with a black boot i think i actually prefer with a black boot but yeah this is it with another blazer Style number two. This is with a crop blazer now. Oh, I love this. I love this look. It's so chic, so nice. It has it gives the dress more, it makes it look less casual. But with the boots and maybe very nice heels, you would get what to do with this. I'm gonna try on the vest finally so you see how to style this with a vest. Okay, so I just threw this on with the vest and I changed the shoes. So you see. If you have any of the sweater vests, that would also work as well. But I have this old leather vest. Um, it's really thick and it's tight. But yeah, I just wanted to give you an idea of how to style this. So a typical white shirt, you could just jazz it up for the fall. And there you go. Look at this. This is a look. And oh, these are just ooh, this is massive. <laughs> this is just like a shirt dress, and um, but it has this detail at the back. Can you see? But this is massive, this is really big, and I got it in a medium. That's the black, this is the white of it. Uh, yeah okay i'm iffy about those two i'm gonna try them to see how they fit but i'm iffy about them i doubt it so why is there a set of the size with this they were not joking like this is really big i don't know if i want it this big but it's really big uh yeah it's just a simple shirt dress and i'm going to i'm going to try um i'm going to try to uh what's it called style it with the belt but this is what it looks like okay so with the belt i'm not mad at it i love how it looks like a white on the night i've paired it with um the heels i got Okay, these are not the most comfortable heels. Uh, they're 20 bucks, so I would decide if I want to keep it, but they're not the most comfortable. And that probably because I didn't, oh, I, I see what happened. I didn't strap it tight, so my feet keep sliding forward. But aside from that, uh, yeah, just simple chic. Uh, so I'm going to pair it. I don't think I'm going to keep the white. I think I prefer the black. I haven't tried the white yet. But um, I'm going to try this on a different belt and a different shoe. So you okay, so what I've done is try on a leather jacket for a more simplistic look. Try on my leather boot and pair this on with a chain belt. Okay, so that's the look. So this is a typical shirt dress and you could just throw on a leather jacket again if it's not so cold with some tights if you're doing a night out in this is your look and you could do away with the belt or wear the previous belt if you want uh, the look without the belt actually very simplistic if you don't want that much piece of ass on it so yeah next one but i said i wasn't going to try on the white i lied uh, I tried it on and I'm conflicted between this white and the first white shit dress I wore. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. You guys let me know. Um, what do you think? Uh, this is just a typical white shit dress. Paired with detail. I just paired it on with my gold belt with my leather shirt. On with a leather jacket. It's really chic though. White, black, or I, I'm, I'm only gonna keep two. So I need your help in deciding. Is it do I keep this white or the other white, or do I keep 
that the black instead of the white so uh this white to the black and the other white which do i care so yeah this is this white i'm gonna try on a longer coat so you see how it looks I just trim this blazer quickly, this seat pad on the blazer, and I could also belt it with the blazer. This is this look with a blazer, and I actually love it. So, yeah. Um, Next box is. Well, have you noticed a theme with this haul? Because I think I have a lot of shirt dresses. So this is another one. Again, very thick denim. And I like the neutral tones, kind of. It has this stitch details around the waist. Two pockets in front. And this detail at the back. So this dress does a lot in cinching you at the waist. And it's very stretchy. So I'm interested to see how this one fits. Uh, so first impressions uh, see this it's really big on the side if that's a concern uh, this is the back that's what the back fits like and this is the front it does have this rushing detail here that kind of focuses around the midsection but also disguises it at the same time so it's uh, you have to decide what you want but fit I like how it fits I'm um, iffy about here. I love this detail on it. I I love how it cinches around the waist. I don't have a flat tummy, so we're like, gonna work with that. And um, I love the fabric. It's really thick, and it's something you can wear for fall. So I give this a six out of a ten. Um, am I going to keep it? I'm not sure. I love the shoulder details. Like I love that it doesn't have shoulder pad but it's also structured but then again i'm conflicted because yeah so anyway let's style this okay it doesn't really need much because it has a lot of details on it you don't want to cover it this is just it with a simple trench coat uh good for a night out you're not doing much uh the trench coat kind of gives it its pizzazz but yeah I'm gonna try this one with a blazer. I think the best thing for this would be a vest, one of those sweater vests. I don't have any. Uh, if you do want to get this dress, that would be the best detail because the vest would still show this detailed part of it and still keep the detail on the neck while still covering the rest of your body. So if you have a vest, the vest is a good fit for this. I don't have one. I'm gonna try it out with a blazer even though I don't let me try it out. Paper cut, pretty close. Anyway, and I'm dealing with white, so. Uh, okay, so this is it with a blazer. Not bad, I'm not mad at it. Won't be my first preference, but with a blazer to the office, I think it will work. Yeah, so this is it with a blazer. It's really chic. Nice. I am not mad at it at all. safe to say blazers make everything look better so um what is this oh i remember so if you watch my previous haul i got this shirt this crop shirt and i got it in large and uh, i'll link the video up and I, I thought it was very big so i got a smaller size of it and i got these sandals these were on sale so I've been looking for a deep, nice gold sandals for a very long time. And this one came to be about 20 something dollars. So I thought I'm going to try them. Um, 
I don't know. I know Zara does this new F15 where the sole is like padded and they're very comfortable to walk in. So that's why I got this one. I'm interested to see how these fit. Yeah, and well, Zara does pack a lot of shoes. Okay, I have a couple of things as well that I got from the store and we're going, just going to review that quickly. Now, guys, look at this. Can you see the detail on the sweater? Like, this sweater, I got it for $15 in store. And the detail on it is that it's, these details are handcrafted. The sweater originally was $80. Like, the details are so rich. Look at this so good and so i'm like oh 15 dollars not bad so yeah uh something to try on today i've had this on with a short leather skirt and sneakers and yes you can still wear sneakers during the fall not everyday boot because they also keep you leg like, warm um you could throw this on with it tight or you could just let it be uh so this is it this is the look yeah Love it. The details on the sweater are actually very gorgeous though. So good. So good. Okay, to me typical. This is just an idea of how to pair the sweater. I would also try this with a short leather skirt. I like that. So yeah, this is one way of styling this. I also got another sweater, uh, also from store, also from the store. Uh, this one has uh, kind of lace detail at the top and some dull man sleeves. This is the back of the sweater chain. But anyway, you guys will see the front. Uh, yeah, this one was also the same price. I again, um, if you've seen my previous video for Fall Essentials, I say when I get sweaters, I don't like getting plain sweaters. I like getting sweaters that have something in it. Like there has to be, there has to be something happening with the sweater. So you notice that with these two, I like that one because of the detail. I like this because of the lace. I don't wear turtlenecks uh, during the fall because. Um, I don't wear turtlenecks during like sweat. No, let me not say that. I don't wear sweater turtlenecks during the fall and winter because I get hot really quickly and I don't like that much detail up here. So when I get turtlenecks, I, I usually get mock necks or just round necks and turn the scarf to cover my neck if I need to. So I like this one because even though it's turtleneck, it's lace. So the lace detail gives me some kind of interesting detail here it starts on it but it's not the kind that would just suffocate you so that's why i got this one so the problem with this is that i have nails and the buttons are very wonky so i'm just gonna so you kind of like get the idea but this is what it looks like i can't button it up without help but yeah this is I love this detail on here. It's really, it, it doesn't make me feel choked up. Even if I'm, if, if if this was done, I still wouldn't feel choked up with it. And gives it like some kind of off shoulder detail. It's so nice. Yeah. So I still paired it on with the leather, and this is the look with a leather jacket on. Yeah. This will keep you real warm. This is real leather. So if you have real leather in the fall, you don't have to layer on top. This keeps me warm. Like if I go out like this, I am warm. I just need to cover my legs. But top here, nothing is happening. So yeah, this, this is a look. Okay, well, a um, couple of other things I also got. I got this trench coat. I am so excited about this one. I got this trench coat from the store as well. So good. Yeah, I love the details. That's the inside. It reminds me of Bulberry. Yeah, I know. So this one was 50 bucks. I got it from the store. 
these were all from last season i think the day i went into the store to do some returns they had um i think they just brought some stuffs from uh last season that haven't sold i don't know they were just loading them in store and i was just like because they were all and they're all for like fall winter I'm like you guys so yeah really love this trench coat i've been looking for a decent trench coat for a very long time and these typically retail for about yeah 150 and i am cheap so 50 dollars is a good bargain the next one is a teddy coat I never used to like teddy coats for a very long time, but uh, the very, I have a black one I got from H&M and I tried it, I'm like, oh my god, this is like walking in a blanket, so warm, so chic, and Zara does make very, very good ones. This one was originally $1.79 and I got it for like $50, so yeah. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm really excited about this. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got styling ideas from the video on how to style your pieces. I hope I've given you some kind of inspiration to check out pieces in your wardrobe. Now, if you are, if this is uh, other styling videos coming up, uh, again, like I said, I create great videos Tuesdays and Saturdays. So if you're interested, please subscribe, like, comment, share. Let me know which of these pieces you like the most, uh, which of these you're going to wear, which of these you're going to incorporate in your uh, in your wardrobe and if you do get any of these pieces please let me know um i'm actually I, I like knowing that my videos are actually making changes or doing something to bring you guys so like share do the whole cheat list uh thank you for coming back stay blessed stay safe and stay healthy bye